GDPR and some data protection by protecting against breaches and detecting breaches early. So, um, if any questions, please ask on the chat, um, and I'll show you a few a few slides, and then we're going to go into a demonstration. So, where did SecureOnix come from? We come from uh, America. We're based in Dallas. We have over 300 employees. Uh, mostly, we've been around for 10 years. So, we have been around a long time, and we have been working on our data science and our algorithm, our machine learning, for an awful long time. Um, which means we're very sophisticated and we find threats, uh, more threats and risks than any other analytics company out there. Um, <clears throat> we have three different types of products. So we have a user and entity behavior analytics or UEBA as Gartner call it, um, which is an analytics machine learning platform that can sit on top of a seam or can sit on top of a Splunk or can sit on top of any log management tool really. Um, and then in recent years, we've added a security big data lake, which is a, and a Hadoop platform, um, which can do the log management component as well. And if you combine those two products, that gives you the security analytics platform, which is a log management platform and UEBA combined. Um, like I mentioned, we've been around for 10 years, so we've got a lot of patents that are very unique to Securonix. And, uh, some of these will be shown on, in the demonstration. So what are people doing today? People are doing log management, um, which is really easy. This is just taking logs from various different places, uh, storing them for other applications to use. Splunk's probably the biggest company that does this. Uh, and lots of people spend lots of money just doing that log management component of, 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 this, uh, of this area. Uh, the next thing people do is they store those logs and then they add some rules and signatures um, which are used to find violations and provide alerts. And you've probably all heard of these companies. You've got the QRadars, the ArcSites, the McAfee's, the Splunks, and the Log Rhythms. And these are, this is, this is pretty simple technology. This is basically ingesting logs, storing those logs, and then applying some rules and signatures to those logs. Um, and if those rules and signatures are broken, it provides an alert to uh, the SOC analyst or anybody that's looking at, looking for those alerts. The big problem here is that um, it provides an awful lot of alerts, and a lot of those alerts are false positives. So it's creating actually creating more work for the SOC analyst than it is finding threats and risks, which is where we specialise. Uh, in the last few years, UEBA has become very prevalent, working with those seam vendors that I've just mentioned as a layer above the seam. Uh, and instead of using rules and signatures, we use machine learning, uh, passive algorithms and behavioral analytics to find threats, whether those are insider or cyber threats. Now, there's a few companies that do that. There's us, XRB, Google and Splunk um, bought a company a while ago, but haven't managed to integrate them. So <clears throat> if we look at that market, they're really all converging. The, uh, the market is converging. So the SIEM market, the UEBA market, and the log management market is all converging into one market. And that market is called security analytics. So really, there's only one company out there that could do a proper Hadoop platform which is taking in logs, managing logs, and give a very mature uh, analytics platform on top of that log management platform um, and find risks and threats that other companies cannot find. Uh, and that is Securonix. That's where we fit. We fit in the middle of pretty much all of those three markets that I just mentioned. Now, what does that mean? So that means we are taking logs in from many more places than a seam would take in from um, and many more places than, than a log management tool would take in from so we, if you can see on this list this is this is just some of the connectors we have to take logs from but you can see there's things like sap uh, sharepoint siebel uh, we can have a direct link into all of the seam products which is things like arcsite qradar we can look at oracle databases we can look at physical media as well so we can look at badge reader information 
we can look at social media, we can look at pretty much any information that you could ever want to put into your log management uh, tool to be able to do analytics on. Um, and this is one of our main differences uh, that we have lots and lots of connectors and we connect into very different types of data to ingest those logs into our system. <coughs> also another thing to be aware of, to build a connector within a, uh, a seam system is very difficult. You have to write a lot of code and uh, it can take quite some time. We've built a, a, a GUI system for adding connectors, so for custom applications into our system, and you can do that within 20 or 30 minutes. And a lot of our customers are using Secure Onyx purely because it's much easier to connect into the, some of the data sources they want to add into their system. Um, once we've taken those logs into our system, we then do something called super enrichment. Now, super enrichment is us adding information into the logs as they come into our system. So we add some identity context with, by using things like uh, Active Directory or uh, an HR system to understand exactly who those logs have come from. We add some geolocation information, which is where have they come from in the world. So if someone's logging into a system from America and then somebody two minutes later is logging into that same system from China, we know that's a threat and we can flag that up as a risk. Um, we also add some asset context. So has it come from a server? Has it come from a laptop? Has it come from a, um, somewhere else? And the last thing we add is some threat intelligence information. So we have 40 threat intelligence feeds going into our system. And we also integrate with any any other threat intelligence feed a customer may have. But as the log comes in in real time to into our system, we will look for that threat intelligence and try and understand if there's anything within that that event that that log that is uh, that has been flagged up in within a threat intelligence tool, so that we can add a risk score to that. Um, by looking at that threat intelligence uh, immediately. And that's done in real time. And that, that's specifically for cyber threats. Uh, Jamie will go through this a little bit more in, in, the, uh, in the demonstration. But a key point is that we do the enrichment in real time so that we can look for cyber threats in real time. Um, then once we've got the, the log within our system and we've, and we've done the enrichment of that log, we apply our um, analytics techniques. So our analytics techniques start with behavioral, behavior analysis, which is us looking at baselines, understanding what's normal um, within the organization for a user and for entities, and then looking for uh, anomalies and looking for abnormal behavior. Um, we Then we can also apply some peer group analysis, which is us looking at not just looking at what's normal for a single user, but looking at what's normal for someone within a certain peer group. So there could be 10 people in a uh, in a, a Windows security group, um, nine people doing the, doing all the same things, and then one person uh, logging into a server that none of the other people are logging into. So that could be an anomaly and something we would add, add, an, add a risk score to. Um, Event rarity is a very, very strong part of our, our product. Um, we're looking for things that have never happened before. Now, this is impossible for a scene to do because a scene, if you write a rule, you have to have known that there's something wrong to be able to write a rule. Whereas we're looking for maybe um, I go onto a server I've never been on before. That's an event rarity. and We can want to understand why I'm on that server. It could be. We, we have an email from a domain that we've never seen before. Um, it could be a number of things, but event rarity is one of the analytic techniques that really helps us to find um, lots of risks and threats. Um, and then there's robotic behavior, and this is really around cyber threats. So we're looking for abnormal robotic behavior. So maybe beaconing from a specific server coming out every minute, every five minutes, every nine minutes. Um, it can be lots of different types of things that just do not don't look like human behavior um, and that can indicate that there's a cyber threat within within the uh, within the network so there's a number of different um, different techniques there and what we can also do is the rules engine piece allows us to take in rules from a scene 
and then apply some machine learning and some behavioral analytics to it so that we can make it uh, more efficient and to, to produce less false positives. Now, once we've done that, <clears throat> once we've done that, um, those analytics, what we then do is I give it a risk score, uh, a risk aggregation and, and apply some of our threat models, which are very unique to Securonix. And then what you will see in the demonstration is that you will, there will be a risk score for certain people and for certain entities. And then we can go in and do some investigation and response to those to that risk score. <coughs> Any questions at this time? I think so. Um, and so I mentioned about response. We um, we now have within our tool a, um, a instant playbook, which allows us to trigger an action within a particular IRT or, or orchestration tool. Um, and that really is us integrating with things like Phantom, Demisto, Active Directory, um, and a number of different IRT tools, uh, instant response tools. That uh, that can take action once we found a risk or a threat, or it's hit a certain score. Uh, a person's hit a certain score, or an entity's hit a certain score. Then we can we can trigger an action. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, also built into our tool, and specifically around this helps with GDPR. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, is uh, data privacy. So built within the tool, we can, whilst we're investigating people uh, or entities or users, we can mask or encrypt those uh, users PII so that we can do that investigation. And um, actually, we would never know who we're investigating until that mask or encryption has been uh, released by a security officer or workers council. So very important um, for for everybody in Europe. Um, and then this uh, really is, uh, will help you with your, your GDPR and, and, a, and a number of compliance and, and regulatory um, regulations. But what we do is provide a dashboard to say uh, how we are doing against certain things. So it could be PCI, it could be GDPR, it could be a number of different regulations. But we provide dashboards for the management team to 